showing our routing up to Paris. Down we go, into the metro, into the Châtelet-Léal station. We've just arrived in Paris, and the first thing we're going to do is go up the Eiffel Tower. This way to the tower. Oh, going up this tower will really give your spirits a lift because you've got the best vantage point in Paris to see this beautiful city from the top. The Grand Palais down below, the River Seine, all the landmarks of Paris spread out below you. It was a little windy up here, but comfortable enough. Not too crowded, so we could get our snapshots taken and explain about the view. The Dome of the Ampolid and the left bank sweeping across the river over to the right bank. The neighborhood of Champs-Élysées, Parc de Triomphe. It's like a map spread out down below you or a model, but instead it's the real thing. And here's a few tips on how you can get up and down the tower and avoid the crowds. So we did it. We conquered the Eiffel Tower. We got all the way to the top, and the way we did it was by coming late in the day, about 5 o'clock. If you come in the midday, there's going to be a line. If you come in the nighttime, there's also going to be a line. But come in the late afternoon, like 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, then you'll have less of a line. You can go right up. This is the first thing we've done in Paris upon arrival on the tour. And we've already reached the heights of the city. The highest point is at the top of the Eiffel Tower, 900 feet high. And then, of course, it's time for dinner. We're having a classic French dinner at the brasserie called The Dog Who Smokes. It's in Les Halles, and it will really show you a good time. You come on in here, you can have your steak bernays or some fish or a lighter meal if you wish. You can eat upstairs or downstairs. Real good service here. Paris is the gastronomic capital of the world. You can find all kinds of great treats here. New shopping mall development in the heart of Paris just for these two square blocks, and otherwise you're surrounded by the old buildings of the city, right in the heart of town. So we go off on a city tour with a local guide in the tour bus. Like the shops, galleries, places open at 10, and then we work until 6.30 p.m. non-stop, they don't close in between. All the other bridges that were here before collapsed into the water, and that bridge remained, and it's called the new, but the oldest by reality. So there you are. There used to be buildings, houses on both sides. Now within the area, we have a monument, very soon you are going to see, which is called Bastille. Bastille Monument. If you look ahead of you now, ahead across to the front part of the bus, you can see in the foreground that column. Have a look at the new building on the right. Really very new, very much different. And every now and then we stop the tour bus and get out and stretch our legs and have a stroll through some of the more scenic attractions of town, such as the Place de Vosges. Built at once. It all built at once. Wow. Yeah. In the 16th century. And the nobility moved right in. And the nobility moved right in and they lived here until the revolution. Because in the revolution they were chased out of the country. The French people didn't like nobility and aristocracy. Uh. Does it flower or anything? No, but there is leaves there around it, you see. So it's typical Renaissance, uh, like all the pediments above the windows with all those faces and the uh, foliage. Yeah. I like the archway, you know, with the yeah. door and all that. So this church you will be able to go tomorrow, it's near your hotel, you are going to go there. But it's called Notre Dame Our Lady, Our Lady Virgin Mary. Now we arrive to another district through the Latin Quarter. All kind of um, uh, learning and research centers, uh, medical, 
of all uh, geographical, for example. It's all in this section of Paris called the Latin Quarter. The students come here to study, but at the moment it's holiday, so they are not in classes. And you are welcome to go inside that church to St. Stephen, we call it. The architecture here is quite interesting for its late Gothic from the 16th no. century. And a beautiful garden in Italian style and a fountain, the fountain of Medici that is beautiful. It's called Montparnasse Tower, 600 feet high. So that's the worst mistake of Paris for architecture, the Montparnasse Tower. Nevertheless, on top there is a restaurant. And that's it, Yves Saint Laurent on the right. And many other shops for high French fashion you find along here at Saint Germain de Pré, another name of high fashion, Christian Dior. You could certainly spend a lot of your money going to some of the couturiers here in Paris. Or better yet, you just stay on the bus and continue your sightseeing from the safety of a window. Passing some of the Luxembourg Garden here on the right side of the bus the ball, as we make our way to the Arc de Triomphe. At the Place des Toiles, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is buried under the arch. And from here, we've got the Champs Elysees and 11 other boulevards radiating out like stars. Tourism office is conveniently located there. Another interesting building is the military hospital. It's connected to the Anvalid. And again, the Eiffel Tower. No matter where you are in the city, you generally have a nice view of the Eiffel Tower.